people so it's evening time and I just wanted to show you our little routine for butter pecan this happens every morning and every night she has a bunch of stuff she gets so she's gonna be seven she's my only guinea pig who is on medications and yes it is a lot so the last couple years pecans had chronic digestive issues which leads to horrible bloat stasis so she is on permanent medication to keep her stomach moving so we do gas drops to ensure that she doesn't get gas. We do metoclopramide and cisapride, which are two drugs to make their stomach contract. One works on the upper GI, one is on the lower. Recently, since she's been a senior, we've added in Medicam, which is pain med slash anti-inflammatory. And more recently, we added in Tramadol, which is an opiate pain med, because her pain wasn't being controlled with just the Medicam. And then she has sure recovery food just to give her extra nutrients and have something on her tummy as she's getting all these medications. And I know it seems like a lot, but this is what she's been prescribed by our vet and it's what keeps her comfortable and healthy. And she's my only guinea pig now that's on any medications since Apple has passed because for some reason people always have the conception that misconception that all my pigs are on medications. It's just one piggy, and she's almost seven. And sometimes I feel like people word things as they think I like having my pigs on meds or something, or I make things up, I've been told. It's not p fun paying for piggy meds. All of her meds, if I refilled all of this stuff right now, is hundreds of dollars. Probably like a good $300. So anyway, I'm going to set my camera down, and I will get her meds going. She's very used to them and enjoys it. So first we do the metoclopramide. This works on the upper GI tract to make it contract and get things moving. And then her next one is cisapride, which does the lower GI tract. Every one of her meds is compounded with a syrup so she really likes the taste that's how they are given to us so next we're doing the gas drops we use the oval brand we used to use the little tummies but I find I can find the oval brand easier so she gets one whole mill every morning and every night and she really likes the taste of those it's minty so next we're going into the Medicam so she's on a very low dose of Medicam, thankfully. Uh, this one could be harder on their liver, but if you've got to give it, you got to give it because it really does work well for helping with arthritis. And the last one we're doing is Tramadol, which is an opiate pain med. And this is what keeps her comfortable as well because eventually pecan I don't know was that a couple months ago started to stop walking around and her feet were getting very bruised and she was quite sore are you gonna want your recovery food good girl um, raisin loves to have recovery food as well but I try not to give her too much because I don't want to overload her with stuff so most of it goes to pecan but I will sneak some to raisin once in a while so I give Pecan as much of this as she wants. I just stir up one little package, so it could probably do about 20 small syringes, like 20 of the one mil syringes. So this routine that I'm showing you right now is what we do every morning and every night. And Pecan doesn't get any vegetables because it causes her severe bloat. So that's another reason I like giving this recovery food extra boost of vitamins and minerals and there's some natural stuff in it to help with her GI tract moving. It's just nice and healthy. And also it's obviously mixed with water so it's a great way to hydrate her as well. The other thing I do specifically for Pecan now that she's a senior is I tidy up her bum every morning and every night because she definitely gets comfortable in one spot of the cage for quite a few hours in the day and her bum can get a little bit messy 
So I wipe it clean and then put a little bit of coconut oil on it to kind of repel any crud from building up. And that's been working nicely. The other thing that I do for pecan is I have a little dish filled with water with a syringe. So wherever she is in the cage, all throughout the day and evening, I will just hand her some water. She loves you to syringe her water. So if she's been sleeping in the same spot for a while, I'll give her a bunch of water and then I'll set down a fresh pile of hay in front of her to get her eating more hay. Because again, if she gets comfy in a spot, she's not too keen on getting up and moving around. So I bring everything she needs to her. She's still doing great for getting exercise and everything like that. It's just sometimes, as you can imagine, a seven year old piggy gets pretty comfortable. So luckily, with giving her hay all the time and making her eat more hay, her teeth have been looking perfect. Because if you guys remember, a little while ago, uh, I noticed that her front incisors were on a slant. So I think we have fixed that. Because they took about two weeks to get back to looking straight. And they've been staying that way ever since. But like I've got her to eat so much more hay now that I put it in front of her and that I give her water. Because basically anytime you give her water she'll take about like five mils or more and then she loves to eat a whole pile of hay. So it's been working great. And she's been doing very well for pooping nicely which is an awesome thing since she's so prone to bloat and everything like that. The recovery food really gives her lots of fiber. Isn't she just the sweetest little thing? She's just the loveliest little pig. She has the best personality for just loving attention and being so easygoing. And she's been on her own during the night now that Apple has passed. I just put her in the section by herself. And she's doing just fine. So if anybody doesn't know, she goes in the section on her own at night because I can't watch her. And the one night, is that like a month or two ago, where she was found flipped upside down? So she can get knocked over easily because of her arthritis and her back end. So for safety, when I can't be checking on her all the time, which is during the night, she is on her own and I think it works out well because she has a whole night of nobody bugging her endless hot pile of hay for her to eat by herself and she can sleep in her bed is and with having nobody bug her because one of the things in the day is she'll be eaten in a pile of hay or I'll put pile of hay beside her and of course everybody else has to pile in and push and shove and stuff like that so why are you frozen? <laughs> just talking about you. So it is nice in the evening for her to just be able to relax. So I don't close her off until just before I go to bed. And obviously she gets to come right back out first thing in the morning. It's just something that keeps her safe and it makes me be able to sleep at night knowing that there's not a chance that she's flipped over again because that was the absolute worst thing was finding her upside down and knowing that she was probably like that for most of the night. And obviously that's very dangerous. Do you want any more of this or we're good? I guess she doesn't. We're gonna eat hay now for the camera. She's just the cutest little thing. It seems unreal. Like I adopted her when she was about six to nine months old. It was just a rough guess with the rescue. And to think that she's almost seven, like time just flies by. I can't believe it. And right from the very first day that I got her, she was just an absolute love. I can't believe that somebody didn't want to keep her. But their loss was my gain, that's for sure. Just the sweetest, sweetest lady. And she's one of those pigs that's so good just to have in a herd. Because she's so friendly and just easy going and never starts fights or anything like that. 
Isn't that right? You're so beautiful. Alright guys, so I just wanted to share what I do every day, every morning and night for pecan. Because this is sometimes what you get into when you have senior guinea pigs or a special needs guinea pig. See you guys later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!